Welcome everybody, this is the Fan Zone, episode 412, I think, we've been off for like two fucking weeks, there's been no man's land in the news department, but there's been some news recently, it is April 22nd, 2016, and today we have Damien, yeah, yeah, and and Magnum's on, but he's has his troubleshooting his uh, his headset. So he'll jump on whenever he jumps on, and we'll just go into it. We'll go whenever Magnum jumps on. We'll we'll go with what he's. What have you been playing, Damien? Um, Destiny. That's it. That's it. That's it. Just Destiny. Yep. Nothing. Nothing else to say. There's Destiny. Um, the new update. So. Uh, so I've been playing uh, Dark Souls 2, uh, some NBA 2K15, uh, some Sub Subnautica, which is a pretty cool game that's coming to Xbox pretty soon on the preview program. Not the preview for, you know, the, the fucking uh, preview program for games. Uh, what else have I been playing? Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Madden 16, of course. Um, I'm trying to think, I was playing my PS4. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I can't remember what the fuck I was playing on it though. Oh, Zombie, that fucking game where you're in. Uh, that was originally Zombie U. Mm. I played that on the PS4. It's a free to play game. Um, I've been playing I'll, some I'll what? Zombie. It's it's really good for a free game. I wouldn't spend whatever the fuck people spent on it. It's it's a stressful game, just like <laughs> it's 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 a kind of a stressful game. Like I wish they would have added some crafting into it, but I don't think there's any crafting in the game. You get a cricket bat, <laughs> and that's about it. Uh, I don't know what they're called, cricket bat. I don't know what the fuck it's really. It's called you're, something else. You're too used to guns. No, it has guns in the game. There's guns in the game. It's just that that's your main weapon you pick up. It's your cricket bat. You got a pistol pretty early in the game as well. Um, there was a 2D RPG that I was playing on there too. That was originally on the Xbox 360. I can't remember the name of it to save my fucking life. Uh, on my three, on my Xbox One, I've been playing. I played some Quantum Break. It's been three weeks. Um, uh, Madden. Um, I played some Dark Souls One on my Xbox One. Uh, oh, I thought you were playing Dark Souls on the PlayStation. No, I was playing Dark Souls on my Xbox. I don't have Dark Souls 3 yet, oh, okay. but I really want to. So I, I've been going in and playing uh, Dark Souls 1 on the place on my Xbox One. Um, oh shit, there were some other games that I played, but I don't remember what the fuck they are. But I played quite a few games over this past three weeks. What about you? Oh, Magnum just dropped off. Oh well. well let's jump into the into the into the news. Maybe we'll find something interesting to talk about. Um, we'll go into the tech news since we probably won't talk too much about it. Um, the Netflix bill is finally going up. I don't think the people who are grandfathered in will not get hit by this one. I believe this this update uh, this upgrade. <laughs> and by the, and I I say that facetiously. <laughs> Your bill's going up. I think everybody's bill is going up. Including the low, the low tier people who were grandfathered in. So get ready to pay more money. It's still a good service. They're not, they're not increasing it so much that it's no longer a good service. So Netflix, you would be paying more for it, but it's still a good, a, still a good deal in my opinion. Some people may disagree. That's fine. Uh, do you even get Netflix where you live? Yes, I get Netflix. Well, what the hell? I don't know, dude. It's weird. Fucking strange ass laws. 
Yeah, the F, the F, what is it, F A A or F C F C C or whatever. The F C C won't let me be. <clears throat> so, I don't know. I don't pay for Netflix. My wife does, so that's her. That's her bill. Yeah. Oh, I can hear you. Yeah. All right. What have you been playing? Wait. First of all, do you guys hear in the background? Very no. um, very lightly. I can very. barely hear you in the background. Yeah. I'm wearing my federal pieces, and the fans literally two inches to pick me up. So huh? What? See how good the, the fucking cancellation is. What? What? I can, w can you hear me? I can hear you better now. I turned you over 200% on your fucking volume. Oh. We're streaming uh, this shit on, Netflix, on, on fucking, on, uh... Twitch? Yeah, Twitch. This shit's being streamed on Twitch. For what it for what it matters, <laughs> it's but also being recorded as well. Hopefully, it's supposed to be recording. I better check that shit out. Um, let me go to videos, videos, videos. There, yeah, it's being recorded. It's that right there. And there's all those FLVs from our previous videos. Um, so what have you? Yeah, wait, hold on. I was in that motherfucker. What? I beat Metal Gear. Which one? I just say what I say. You beat the original Ooh, Metal Gear? Five. Five? Metal Gear Solid huh? 5? Yeah, that ain't yeah. saying much. You know that ain't saying much. <laughs> the, game, the game is garbage. The story is garbage. But the game is not garbage. It's the best Metal Gear out there in terms of being five times. How'd you like it? Dude, you sound horrible. Yep. You sound absolutely fucking tremendously bad. I do not know. Do I sound like I'm in the bucket? Like yeah. I'm underwater or yeah, like you're underwater. Yeah, it's probably yeah, not gonna be. Yeah, oh, nah, you got an update. Something else happening with the headphones. Yeah, you gotta update the headphones. But I'll see what happens. Did you get the update uh, for the for fucking? I don't know if it has anything to do. I don't. Let me let me drop the bit rate a little bit. We'll drop down to forty four kilobits and see if that works a little bit. Try talking now. Hello. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Well, I dropped the I dropped the bandwidth required. Are you at work right now? No, I'm at home. I don't know what's up. I dropped but it down. I'm on my phone. Oh well, it's a little bit better now. Your phone sucks. When are you getting a new one, dude? Whatever the fuck I want. You gonna get me one? Man, I could. I'll drop you a phone that's better than yours. I probably shit one out. The fuck is up with your phone, dude? <laughs> my phone would. Hey, 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 let's let's continue the show. Yeah, what else have you been playing? Yeah, my surface, my surface broke. What well, can I? Mm, my surface broke. Oh. Well, I said I got a surface like three. You got the 360 of surface. I got a. Nah, fucking, I got a firmware update for some reason. Right side of my screen. Hey. Fucking, I don't know. Contact. Don't activate. Right, so. Fuck it, shit up. So I gotta send that shit back. Um. What else? Uh. I've been playing FIFA 16. That's good. Really good. Oh yeah, back to gears. The fucking um. The Rody Rain. The fucking wall bounce and all that shit. Is so uh. What else? Graphics and shit, but that's to be expected. Even though a lot of people are annoyingly fucking people bring that shit up. Uh, so <laughs> I played some Battlefield. I played. I have beat. What else did I beat? 
Hold on. Uh, I'll be... <clears throat> what is it? Oh, Quantum Break. I like that. That was fun. And that's... That's it? Hello? I had, to, yeah. I had to put everything on mute because my dog's fucking losing her goddamn mind. Yeah, they're they're calm down now. I just I put it physical mute so everything went through. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's go on to the fucking what's been going on in the tech industry. We already talked about uh, Netflix. You got anything to add to the Netflix bills going up? You don't give a fuck. You don't. You don't use Netflix, Magnum. Yeah, it's not going out very much. So the U. The U. S. Legislation is pressing Oculus on user privacy. Uh, I don't own an Oculus. I don't think anybody else. In this chat owns an Oculus. I don't have a PC that can run Oculus. Yeah, I don't have a PC that can run Oculus either. They're very anti A and D. So, I wouldn't. Even if I did, I wouldn't be paying for it. It's fucking way too much money. Uh, for something that only one person can use. I don't think it's actually bad. You are not coming through. I mean, you're you're coming through like I understand that you're speaking English, but that's about the limit of my understanding of what you're saying. Like your voice is not being distorted; it's just being. It just sounds weak. All right. And he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. He, 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 I don't know what's going on. He's using his phone, right? So, I just don't know if it's just not picking up well or what. Uh, so, fuck Oculus. Why? Did you get, get PlayStation VR? Uh, I have no, no idea. I'm not getting a PlayStation VR either. Uh, if, Sony, if Sony allows PlayStation VR to work on... Um, on PCs, I might get one. Not all right. Well, we'll leave that for the Neo Talk. Yeah, we'll leave that for the Neo Talk. So, for those of you, who, those of you who don't know, AMD is putting out um, three new AMD chipsets for uh, for Win Win devices, and what that means is they won some uh, some contracts. They won three contracts to make semi custom chipsets. Uh, my guess is those three contracts are Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. Uh, and those chipsets are being worked on or are have been worked on, it's my guess. Uh, and should be ready by the end of this year. Uh, that, that goes... The, the interesting idea is what each platform decides to do with uh with their new hardware because it's going to be interesting for microsoft and sony nintendo's a, a whole new system like a whole new way of doing things we'll get into that when we get into nintendo but everything's changing at nintendo for sony and microsoft they're at a at a kind of crossroads interesting situation right now uh we'll see how that goes <laughs> I'm interested in, in the direction that Sony's going in. We'll talk about that more closely with Sony. And the direction that Microsoft may or may not be going in. Um, I don't think we'll find anything about Microsoft till till after or during E3. Until, nope. No, I don't think they're going to announce anything at E3. Well, no. the, it leaked out of Sony. They're not gonna, they aren't going to officially announce anything until E3. Uh, but the Sony information leaked. We'll get into that when we get to Sony... Uh, but the AMD information is pretty big for those. It's, it basically confirms that the the NX will be using AMD, uh, which is a big deal. It's a big deal. Um, 
Yes, it means Nintendo wants to compete again. Yes, they do want to compete again. They're also... We'll, we'll go... We'll go into that afterwards. So Nintendo is next, in fact. So we'll go into that. So um, nobody gives a shit about Punch Out. Do you care about the so new visual cues discovered twenty nine years later on on Punch Out? Uh, I yeah, do. I don't care. By the way, how do I sound? A lot better. <laughs> now, now we can understand that oh, you okay. we you were just you were you sounded soft like I we know. couldn't we couldn't hear I'm, you. I know what happened. What? On, on my phone, I have an app for the Turtle Beach, and I'll fuck around and put the mic on my All right. So, the Zelda Wii U rumors. More talk of Wii U NX releases, play as male, female, voice acting, Nintendo, everything. So, I have not read this. Who really cares? Zelda fans. I'm a Zelda fan. I'm a Zelda, I'm a Zelda fan. I'm a major Zelda fan. I'm getting it. How how big of a difference? Can you play as a male, female? So what are you doing? Can you choose to play as, as Link or Zelda? I think it's you can choose Link could be male or female. That's fucking yeah. stupid. I guess Link is a Zelda, fucking dude. Zelda, Zelda gonna either be straight or he's gonna be a dyke. Well, the the romance with Zelda is kind of eh, whatever, right? Yeah. Aside from the cartoon, he doesn't make any real, any kind of real kind of pushes towards her, does he? Mm -hmm. So Nintendo, Nintendo made fans take down their 3D tribute to the original game. Dick move, Nintendo. Dick move. Just saying. Jesus, these fucking companies. The, if someone, no one's buying fucking the original Zelda. You're not losing money by fucking someone remaking your original game in fucking 3D. Hmm. There's no reason to put a fucking takedown by fucking for the, oh fucking retarded. Anyways, on to much. What, what are you what are you ranting about now? No, it's the Sony had them take it down. It was the user made fucking tribute to the original game. And Nintendo, Sony, did I say Sony? My bad. Nintendo fucking had them take it down. Fuck them. Fuck fucking Nintendo. So anyways, uh, Insider is saying that um, Nintendo Insider Emily Rogers has shared why people should be excited about software output for the upcoming Nintendo NX. According to Rogers, Nintendo has changed their main development and production processes, which will allow them to vastly increase the NX software output. Rogers recently shared additional leaked details on the upcoming Zelda for the Wii U, and according to Rogers, also for the NX. Additionally, Rogers also claims that the four Wii U sports, that four Wii U sports titles are heading to the NX. Yesterday, Rogers also debunked the re recent leaks from NeoGAF user 10K. Stating that his info regarding the console's GPU uh, and power were incorrect. A new post on her blog, Rogers now explains why gamers should be excited about the software from NX, which will blow away the Wii U software output. At least that is what Rogers now claims in her post. According to Rogers, in a single year, the NX will build a larger library of games than the Wii U production in three or four years. They claim. <clears throat> this claim is based in several facts. The source close to Roger allegedly told her the big fundamental focal point and overall goal behind NX is to vastly increase the software output from Nintendo's first party teams and studios. To accomplish this, the entire process of how Nintendo develops and produces software has gone through radical changes. There's a new strategy that was put into place to create and release software product, first party software at a faster rate, multiple unannounced Wii U projects were moved over to the NX. The NX could potentially see the highest output of first party studios in the company's history. I'm talking about the entire lifespan of the NX, not just one or two years. Rogers continues by explaining that Nintendo probably won't be announcing all their NX news during the upcoming E3 event, but rather save some announcements for later events. And what Roger claims is correct, gamers will hate when they're poorly written shit. Gamers will enough <laughs> gamers will have enough NX titles at their disposal on a regular basis. Uh, what does that mean to you as a Nintendo fan? 
I just will wait till Nintendo say something. Yeah, I'm trying to get tired of all that fucking MX games. Yeah. Does the idea that they'll actually start pumping out games faster excite you at all? No. I'll just wait until Nintendo puts out. Then they say something about a new um, game development route they're taking or something like that. Like a, a new um, development fucking schedule they're gonna go on with. What is that? How do you pump out all those fucking games? Like I don't know. Type of games Because <laughs> I highly doubt those are two triple A games. People pump them out for fucking eight. Oh, it is what it is. It's... Well, the hardware will be better for it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So there will be better hardware for pumping out games. Uh, maybe the, maybe they'll have something uh, similar to DirectX, or they'll use Vulkan or something. That that help um, significantly. And on to the on to Sony, which has some pretty big news that came out. Um, Neo, Neo, but we'll get to that. So, God of War Four leaks reveals Norse setting. Um, Kratos returns at God of War Four, which reportedly features a Norse mythology. I wonder if I try to go to the site, but it, it keep, VG two four seven keeps on fucking kicking me out. I think they hate me. <laughs> so, yeah. Let me try and go there oh, manually. And fuck that. You know what it's about. It's fucking God of War and the rest of it. That's like, <laughs> like, what do you think about that? Yeah, it's God of War in the North setting. I was waiting for him to fight like Jesus. I wanted to be mad at Jesus or something. I want people to be offended. Jesus! I want to play it and my wife to like storm out and fucking send me divorce papers. And then I can sue Sony. My yeah, wife divorced me because of you. Yeah. Um, fucking, I don't know. I don't like them taking out of war. Like, like that shit makes no sense. How the fuck does Greek mythology and Norse mythology fucking? I don't know how he's going to go I, killing I people out. either. Stig, Stig, Stig messed up God of War. And Sony needs to start over. Because the thing is, you know, you, you killed all the gods already. Well, it's going to North myth you know? Norse mythology. Nobody... Okay, now what are you going to do? Go kill Thor? How are you going to even fit in? He'll, they'll probably make Thor a giant what jackass, right? A fucking douchebag. What, what, what are they going to say? He's, um, he's, he's... No. He's our but, father's third son. But what I don't understand is when did God of War like alright, Kratos started in Greek mythology. He killed all of the fucking three gods. Or most of them. To end there. Like God of War is an entire you to put on everybody. At least not in my fucking I thought it was a fucking franchise where you need to follow one guy, one main protagonist through Greek mythology, not fucking whatever mythology you want to fight up, whatever you're trying to do. But, that's just... Uh, I don't know. Like I, I don't know. The, the only way I see it working is you can't bring back Kratos. You gotta bring somebody else and let them fight their way up the same, the same way you did with Kratos. That's the only way it could work. I don't know. It looks like Kratos. He's got an axe, though. He doesn't like. He's an axe man. He's got a. He's got a Norse axe. He's at the tree now, of life. Make... So what are you gonna do, chop down the tree of life? I don't know, dude. I, hopefully he's not a. He's not a fucking unrelenting dickhead. <laughs> well, then he can be Kratos. Yeah, that's true. The concept clearly shows it shows a Norse setting for the game, which reference to the land of the fairies and other Norse mythology concepts. Kratos also appears to have grown a beard and now carries an axe. 
So after God of War 3, he fell onto New Zealand? Like, what happened? I don't get it. <laughs> so I'm looking at some of these pictures. And... They're like, they're just... I need an explanation. Yeah, I don't think, I don't know if Sony will even show it. I'm not even sure if it's Kratos Kratos, right? Yeah. I'm matter, matter. You know, it'd be hilarious though if this was all fake. I would hope it would be fake, to be honest. Like, that shit makes no sense and it makes me don't want to play it. But anyway, we'll see what happens in the future, I guess. So let's go on the fucking shit that everybody really wants to talk about, Sony. Nobody gives a fuck about Kratos on this goddamn podcast. His, his time is done. His time is done. Uh, There's only one G-O-W in the game. Circle. Gears of War. <laughs> uh, so earlier, uh, and we talked about it on an uh, uh, earlier podcast, uh, the PS4K... And so, Giant Bomb, who fucking totally sold out and is now part of fucking GameSpot, uh, was able to scoop some information. So they got some information about the Neo. Uh, the Neo will feature higher clock speeds with orig- than the original PS4, as well as improved GPU and higher bandwidth on the memory. The documents that they obtained note that the hard drive in the Neo is the same in the original PlayStation 4, but it's not clear if that means in terms of capacity or connection speeds. Starting in October, every PS4 game is required to ship with a base mode, which will run on currently available PS4s and a Neo mode for use on the new console. Games running in Neo mode will be able to use the hardware upgrade an additional fi- and an additional 512 megabytes in a memory budget to offer increased and more stable frame rates and higher visual fidelity, at least when these games run at 1080p on HDTV. The Neo will also support 4K image output, but games themselves are not required to be 4K native. And the document said, we received Sony offer suggestions for reaching 4K slash Ultra HD resolutions for the Neo mode game, uh, mode game builds, but they also give developer a degree of freedom. The Neo will not supplant the PS4, but will exist alongside of it and use the same user environment. The PS4 and Neo will use the same PSN store connect to the same online communities and offer the same user experience. So expect to see the same cross-media bar that you're used to. The players will be able to retain all purchases they made on the PS4. So Sony seems committed to keeping the Neo and the original PS4 player base connected. As such, there will be no Neo-only games. And Sony will not let developers separate Neo users from original PS4 users while playing on PSN. Likewise, Sony explicitly and repeatedly states that developers cannot offer exclusive gameplay options or special unlocks for Neo players, so don't expect the Neo owner to get a level editor or a special Rocket League car that you won't have access to on your original PS4. That said, so long as both systems have the same feature, the Neo can run an improved version. The local co-op game for that feature, four players on a base PS4, could offer eight-player co-op mode for the Neo, for instance, but again, don't expect those differences to transfer to online modes. <clears throat> but there's no nothing mentioned about the PlayStation VR in the Neo, so for those who want to know, the CPU in the original PS4 is an 8-core eight, uh, eight Jaguar running at 1.6 gigahertz. The Neo will use the same Jaguar, but running at 2.1 gigahertz. Remember we, we had rumors back when the uh, PS4 originally launched of them being able to get at 2.1 gigahertz? Mm-hmm. So it's probably the exact same CPU uh, just running at a higher higher clock. Uh, the GPU in the original PS4 is AMD GCN uh, 8 CUs at 100 uh, megahertz. The one in the um, in the, uh, the the PS4K or the Neo Improved AMD GCN, so probably GCN 2.0, 36 CU, so it's double double the amount, uh, 
and it's running at uh, 911, <laughs> 911 megahertz. Uh, they're having the same amount of memory, but uh, the bandwidth is 176 gigabytes for the PlayStation 4, and the Neo is 218 gigabytes per second. So that's a that's a significant upgrade in speed. Uh, the the GPU is the biggest upgrade, but apparently there so they can patch but uh, any games developed after uh, uh, October have to have Neo support so though every PS4 game released of, of October this year will need to support both the original PS4 and the Neo that doesn't necessarily mean that the Neo will release in October additionally games released in late September window will require a day one patch that updates them to the Neo standards the documents we've received explicitly note that devs are not allowed or no the devs are allowed to launch Neo ready games before the Neo itself. Games released previous to the Neo can take advantage of the hardware upgrade, but only developers deciding to patch the title. That isn't too surprising. This was never going to be a magical upgrade device. Which doesn't. I don't understand why you wouldn't have upgrades just work. Shit should just work better. Mm -hmm. Because you're not changing the hardware, it should just be able to run better. I don't know, these fucking people. We'll see. Hey, they're the industry leaders. They can do the shit. So basically, they're forcing developers to make their games compatible with both devices. Which only makes sense? Uh, it makes It's good for users, right? Because you'll be able to play the game. Uh, I have a question, though. What? What's the difference this and what Phil Spencer is saying about um, an upgradable Xbox? So the GPU is or a significant upgrade. Xbox. So the GPU. No, no, no. no. I'm what? saying. Remember, he was saying the same thing. Um, you know, games will be forward compatible and backwards compatible. Yes, but he's. You can wrap if the Xbox runs on a fucking. The Xbox One doesn't run like the PS4. The Xbox runs on uh, on basically three separate three uh, separate virtual the three separate virtual drives. So you have you have the uh, the app side, you have the game side, and then you have uh, another virtual drive, another VM uh, that talks to those two sides, right? But they're never talking to each other. Like, directly. So, that's why when a game crashes, it doesn't crash your system. When a game crashes on the PS4, it crashes your fucking system. And you have to restart your PS4. Uh, <clears throat> so, there's a difference. The way Microsoft does it and the way Sony does it. So, what Microsoft can do and what Sony is doing... There's a little bit more interesting things that Microsoft can probably do if they keep the same concept than Sony is doing. Hey, once they keep Connect, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, as long as they support my Connect, I don't really give a damn. So, what do you think about the improvements? Yeah. Basically, doubling. They're not doubling it. That's not how graphics works. But they significant upgrade. And potential power of the of the of the GPU. I don't know. I just feel like oh, you know, get one. I sound more than twenty five percent. Like that argument. Um, you see, so you think Uncharted is gonna have a Neo um, version? Well, and also look at this: more remasters are coming. It's not, required. Hide, it's not required. It's not required. The Neo versions. You gotta have the Neo versions. It's only required one for games releasing in October and September and beyond. Hey, please. You gotta have the Neo version. It's not a Neo version, right? Yes, it there is. There is no. That's not what they're. That's not what they're saying. You gotta have the Neo version and the Mr. Anderson. There version. is no version. Yeah, basically a, Neo, a Mr. Anderson and a Neo version. So the Neo will be part of the game. Right? So the game you play on your PS4 and the game you play on your on your uh on your Neo will be the same fucking game. So if you have a disc oh. 
If you have a disc, you'll be putting that same disc in your in your PS4K or your PS4 Neo or whatever the fuck it's called. I just can't wait to see all this shit drop. We'll see what happens. In the next generation, in the next generation, they go back to making a powerful console and waiting five years. So I can say I told you so. Because I firmly believe this is all happening because it came out really bad time. If Sony's forcing the issue, Sony's forcing the issue though, right? They're requiring. The consoles a week. They are requiring the developer to build for both. So all games, every single PS4 game released from September on will be a Neo game. Okay. I think that's, a lot of people were like, oh, it's going to split. But it's not, they're not allowing it to split because they're forcing the developer. They're not allowing developers to make special things for the Neo. Okay, so let's talk about what that means on the back end for developers. That won't work. I think that that's that, a, is, that is the big thing, right? So how does this affect developers? Uh, game. Does this does this does this cut something out or do they have to do something differently? I don't think this is a big deal. They're working well, they're with the same because they're all complaining about it. Are they? At least from what I was reading, yeah they are. More work on their end. You can't even I read, argue. I read. That. I read that some of them are complaining, but I read that some of them are you, complaining. But I'm sure they're gonna show a slide. Both, don't? They're gonna show a slide of developers saying, "Oh, this is the best thing, and thank you, Sony, but because you're running out of power." That's the uh, All right. fucking. They got. Yeah, whatever. We'll see when it happens. It is, it, yeah, it is something else to deal with. I, for I think that most most companies are just gonna the neo mode is just gonna be running. They'll just unlock the fucking, they'll just unlock the the fucking uh, frame rate and and maybe allow it to run at 1080p and that's all they're gonna do. They're not even gonna fuck around with it. They'll under support the neo while supporting the nah, PS4. No they got They got to upload that. You said resolution and fucking frame rate, that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. The that's whole point awesome. of this is this, this is a <laughs> test for the whole point of video games are doing. So uh, Colin this is what happens when you fucking listen to the wrong group of gamers in the industry. <laughs> this is what happens. Or you just come out with a weak hospital. That happened all the time. I'm sorry, go ahead. So apparently, Colin Morarit here, Morarit, I don't, I don't know if I can say his goddamn name. He Colin said, he Moriarty. said, yeah, Moriarty or what whatever, Moriarty. Isn't he like a huge Sony? Nut? He is a huge fucking Sony fan. Uh, he says a trusted source tells me most developers are not happy with the PS4.5 and having to develop around it, extra cost planning and other nonsense, because Sony is forcing them to make it. Make games for it. That's the German. Every game has to have to move now. So that's, I don't know, doubling with your work, but it's so, to it. so my guess is that if, if I was Microsoft, I would just make it work, oh, right? Sure. I would just make it fucking work. If you're making a game, you just open it up. It's a fucking Windows platform. So a game exactly. running Windows, a game running on fucking DirectX 12, it should just run better. It should just run better on the new system. And if if you don't want your game to run better on the new system, then you can lock it down using the fucking your ability to control the VM. I don't see any problems. I don't know forcing a developer to support it is uh I don't know if that's the best idea. That's not the best idea. We know that. Yeah, so... <laughs> so <laughs> not not work. Work. We'll see. So, it's interesting. It's interesting. I wonder how this affects developers and and how they deal with... Uh, this is smaller developers and how they... If this will have any kind of... This is a this is a, a, a situation where if, if this backfires on them, 
Nintendo and Microsoft really have to take advantage of it. It's not going to backfire. It'll backfire, maybe. But, see, it's it's the... Uh. Right? So it's... it's. Will users be excited for it? Yes. But if developers are not happy, eventually, does the support wither Ooh. away? Do they do if if a developer has a choice of putting a game on it, but they have to make it for the PS, uh, the PlayStation Four Neo? Do they then instead go with another option, Nintendo or Microsoft, for their their device or their game? No, because Sony still has the biggest user base, so Sony still controls the market. Yeah, but um, question: When did the users? Like, this from what I'm hearing, um, I'm gonna get it because I need to get PS4 to anyway. Exactly. But, um, I'm, gonna hit, I'm not here, and, uh, and I'm thinking I'm getting. People. I'm gonna get a 4K TV the end of this year, or later this year. Yeah, so it works. I so think so. It's so cheap, but like, they, they, just because it's like fucking six hundred dollars. Like, are you serious? Six seven? I'm looking online, but yeah. Like, um, there's a lot of people angry, actually. I don't know where that came from, but, uh, from what I'm hearing, a lot of people don't want to. All the infested sites, you know. I think, I think the gamers just want a bitch. Like, they they always want a bad. bitch. Exactly. Uh, I don't call that bitching at all. I don't understand how both of you have to say that. They're gonna bitch, and then Not they're gonna bitching. still run over <laughs> by it. Three years. I doubt that. To be quite honest, I think uh, this is not nothing crazy, crazy, disastrous or something, but this is definitely a fuck up on their end. I don't think so. I believe. We'll see. Well, at least their fucking users seem to feel betrayed right now. They die hard, so. We'll see. Yeah, but they're gonna still buy it though. Like. You don't this know that you're gonna... saying that. All right, you'll Four hundred dollars is not something you buy, especially when they don't mention a fucking trading program yet. No, but at the end of the day, it still plays all your PS4. So it's just like you're just getting a PS4 again. Yeah, and that's why they. Mikey, <laughs> Mikey made the best comment. So I'm looking at the comments made after this guy's post. And Mike, Mikey fucking says, what are they going to do about it? It's PS4 is the market leader. Exactly. What do you mean what they going to do about it? They ain't going to do nothing drastic. You mean what the fans are going to do? Gonna gonna no, no. What, no, what are the developers are going to do? Are you going to... Are the uh, developers going to not... Are the developers not going to work on the PS4 because of it? No, they're going to fucking they work on it. They don't have a choice. Now. Yeah, the developers, yeah, the developers have no choice. That's a big one. But if we're having fucking new consoles come out, and with Sony's delaying games, and this shit pissing off the users, and some of the developers. This is Sony solidifying the PS4 know. as the best selling console ever. Because to them, it's going to just be a PS4. Mm. You know, my thing is nobody bitched him on when Nintendo does it with their handhelds. 3DS, 3DS XL, 3DS with two stick, 3DS with one stick. When the hell is this 3DS four hundred dollars? Yeah. I'm looking at this guy's tweets, yeah. dude. He has he has a picture of fucking UK UA Berkeley. And they have a fucking four urinals against the wall, and it come. It's like a fucking. It's like a a, a U, and there, there's two urinals on the side. <laughs> so they got six urinals, but four in the front and two on the side. That's not even good. One on each side. That's just. I don't know what the fuck they were well, thinking. Trying I'm trying to say I'm looking at a picture of fucking a bad urinal situation. Nobody likes to be in a bad urinal situation. You don't want some dude pissing behind you, right? Yeah. Nobody wants a dude pissing behind them. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with the topic. 
It has nothing to do with the It doesn't. Fact, it's just a funny observation. I'm gonna go find that fucking post and goddamn. It's hilarious. And I'm playing gears right now. I know, you're always playing yeah. shit. Multiplayer or single player? You playing Gears 4 right now? Yeah. Fucking dudes up. Enjoying my night. Enjoying your night. You no, know, I should be going out. I'm gaming night, man. Oh, I'm dead. Thanks a lot. But, uh, what's next? What is I'm next? Alright, that's it for Sony. We're on to Microsoft. Um. So, Koei Tecmo confirms Xbox One version of Attack on Titans. Does anybody care? Nope. I don't, I don't really care. It looks stupid. It looks stupid. So, I don't know. What? It looks interesting. It looks... You saw him, but that's like Spider-Man. Listen, listen, maybe it's exciting. It looks cool to you, but I've read further into the fucking series, and it's a fucking trash fest. So that that d dampers my fucking excitement what? for anything Titanfall or Attack on Titan. What does that have to do with gameplay? It You're has everything to do with it. I don't. I <laughs> the story is just turns garbage. And then when I'm playing the game, I'm like, oh, this is cool, but the whole story falls apart. And like fucking <laughs> later on, it's like all oh, this fucking potential, and then the story will fall apart. And it will just remind me of how cool it looks and how cool the story was and then how the the, the fucking guy was like oh, I feel like uh, fucking this all up. So, just so I'm clear, because of your dislike of the story direction, you're not going to support this game at all. I may buy it. We'll see. Game. We'll see. It's not, a, it's not on my list, right, of games that I want to buy. That's true. It may, it may jump onto my list. But right now, it is not on my list of games that I want to buy. I'm starting to look for it all, so hopefully it turns out to be good. We'll see. We'll see. So Halo 5's new free DLC is coming out. 8.3 gigabyte update. Firefight beta coming next week. And this was a while ago. I wonder if it already came out. April 10th. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I played the Warzone beta. The Warzone Firefight beta. Um... I didn't like it. You didn't like it? No, not at all. And I can tell you uh, in ODST, when you're playing ODST, remember when you're playing those modes, your back is against the wall. So you're at the edge of the board, they're dropping enemies, and they're coming at you to to pick them off one by one. And as a fence to it, you have nowhere else to fucking go. And this, you're just running around in a big open map. And it feels. You feel I don't know. You don't you you don't feel like there's fucking terror. Like you you don't you're not scared at all. You just walk around shooting people. It's not the same sense of fear. It's not like, the uh, the claustrophobia. You think they they should add some claustrophobia to the to it where it's, no, it's small. Just, your back's not against the wall. It's like you're a Spartan. You're able to fucking destroy all these little motherfuckers. And well, you are a Spartan, I right? I yeah, but. So, I don't know, but what they did in this see, I like it. Put my back against the wall. Let me see in the distance, you're dropping off enemies, have them run at me and try to survive this whole war zone. And this war zone map, they drop the enemies sporadically throughout the map. Maybe they'll, they'll it was a beta, right? Maybe they'll do some stuff yeah. to, to change it when it when it gets released. Well, my gripe is mainly with the fucking, um, the map, the mess about it. Like the way they deploy the enemies and shit like that. Cause it looks like all they're trying to do is milk use out of that those war zone maps they made. They throw everything on those fucking big ass war zone maps, and I don't think this should have been on the war zone map. But uh, we'll see. Like you said, it's the beta. Maybe it'll block off some of the map. Who knows? They should have. They should have the map should have bro breakable fucking features like buildings can collapse and block the wall the way the fucking who knows and crash down for them. yeah like crash down but, but they do have a couple of breakable stuff but it's just but like to open up tunnels you should basically fucking walls 
they had that in the regular Halo 5. So. By the way, which you need to play because I, I don't think you guys beat it, did you? Beat what? It was the Halo 5. I, I thought one of you guys told me oh, that yeah. No, I, 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 haven't beat, I haven't beaten it. I haven't beaten it either. It's not something I could just jump on my console and play anymore, so. No? Why yeah. not? Because I can't. Let the sign into the secondary account. Oh, okay. Oh, that's just, uh, yeah, that's just. Yes, you can. Why can't you sign up? No, I can sign into the secondary account. But Wait. I, don't, I don't feel like it. Most of the time, Dang I just like. You got Halo on his secondary account? No. I mean, you don't got it on your own, or you have it on the. Yeah, I got it on my own. I got it on my own. You don't have no problems? Yeah, oh, but if he's, sign. if he's playing like Quantum Break or something, he's gonna be playing I got, Halo. I got that on my own Halo. Too. Yeah, but I can't play Halo if he's playing Quantum Break. Oh, you got Quantum Break on your no, own too? I got Quantum Break on my own too. Yeah, you're making me too right now. We already came up with the solution. <laughs> All right, we're We basically have nothing like else that. to talk about, unless you want to talk about Quantum yeah. Break. <coughs> uh. Why not? You guys been playing it? Nope. Um, I'm damn, gonna finish, man. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna finish it tomorrow. Man, got me talking. I'm gonna be I'm, I'm here. I'm in third place. Um, Quantum Break. Quantum Break is... Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Quantum Break is a lot better than I thought it would be. But in terms of story, I love the story of Quantum Break. Um... The gameplay, it gets a whole lot better. Like, you kind of have to get used to it. I would say that it's shooting. If I were to give it a grade level, it would be like a B, B minus. But um, everything else is phenomenal. The powers are phenomenal. The effects are fucking superb. Fucking O'Donnell. Huh. Mm. Um, the, the acting is phenomenal too. I love the acting in this game. The fucking uh those T V sequences. I'll give that shit a nah a C plus with some scenes going up to a B plus. Um what else? Oh, there's a lot of twists. Like they play on that time element really, really well. Really, really well. Um a lot of Crazy twist or that you, uh, I wouldn't say you wouldn't expect, but it has some shit happens that happens to be probably the shit that Um, other than that, I don't know, the game's good. The game's really good. I think it deserves more than an 8 in my opinion. If I would have given it a rating, because I like the story so much, I'd give it a, like, I don't know, like an 88 to a 90. Like that story is phenomenal. Like, see what they do. And the interaction between the gameplay and the cutscene, that's phenomenal. So I like where they did that. They really did a good job. But if you're, you know, scoring a game based off the fucking TV, the live action TV shit, and you that against fucking big ass movies and shit, you can get I don't think you can come in here with a, a good. Effective level, great. That's all I gotta say about that. Right. Oh, oh no 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 no. Fuck, man. Yo, a thing I don't like in Gears of War, man. The shotgun's kind of delayed. You on the fucking wall on the beta. You can't shoot out as quick as you used. They got a fix. Hello? Yeah. The fuck? Where are you? Where'd you go? Did you... I didn't go anywhere. I'm just sitting here. Uh, I'm done finding work. There's nothing else to say for me. Yeah. Um. I wonder if they're going to have any problems the second game. Getting some of those characters to reprise their goals. And if they demand any more money. Because the game is pretty successful, right? I tell them new IP, Microsoft, Generation. 
Oh. Fuck, ah, man. Alright, I'm done talking. You just showed down. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Unless there's some other shit you want to talk about. <laughs> talk about Prince. Prince? There were some people talking, people comparing Prince to Elvis and shit. They're like, no, I know how old people felt when Elvis died. Like, look, I love Prince as much as anybody, but he was fucking no Elvis. I don't really like Prince. I like him. Well, he wrote, like he wrote a hell of a lot of pop songs. He did. He was pretty popular back in the 80s and early 90s. Then he, then no, he, he wrote pop songs for other people. I yeah. mean, he was a big, prolific writer. About half of the Bangle songs that people liked, the girls liked, were Prince songs. That's interesting. I wonder where he died off. Overdose is what they're thinking. I don't know. I heard about it. Oh. Um, NBA playoff? No? No. Durant turning his game around. That's the only thing I paid attention to. Last night I was up watching fucking Jake Arrieta throw a no hitter. So. Uh, I don't watch Jake. Yeah, I heard about the no hitter. What the fuck? What the hell was going on? Why was the score so fucking high? It was hilarious. They just kept on pounding the Reds. Like, like on accident, too, right? They were just hit home runs. Five, they hit five home runs. Chris Bryant hit a two-run homer and a grand slam. They were just fucking shelling them, dude. It was 16-0 is the biggest one, the biggest no-hitter, lopsided no-hitter since 1884. Some guy named Pud threw one. It was 18-0. <laughs> oh, man. So it's the biggest one since the World Series, since they started playing in World Series. Yeah, it's been like Yo, I, 130, 132 years since something like that happened. Yo, who's the outfielder for the Yankees? I thought one of those. Oh, guys, the 105 so mile per hour fucking fastball? Yeah. I don't know, Who's dude. That was crazy. Fastest ever by an outfielder. That guy's arm is fucked. They're not, they, he's gonna, like first, he's gonna get transitioned to, he's gonna be transitioned <laughs> to the pitchers. They're like, dude, we need you to become our pitcher. You think you can throw some bullpen sessions and <laughs> we'll see how it works? Yeah, fuck that! I want him on the outfield. Yeah, that was fuck crazy. That. Not really. That's crazy to have him on the outfield. Most guys barely reach 95, 96 coming out. I mean, that's a. That's a huge yeah. difference in speed wise. He was throwing out he was throwing people out from the fucking warning track home base. <laughs> how the <laughs> fuck um, how the fuck do you throw out some of that home plate from the warning track? That's, That's a fucking crazy. arm, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> how fucking far that is. I bet you there's people there's been people who were that good before. But yeah. but in modern era, like I like, I've watched some videos of Willie Mays, and he made some fucking throws, dude, from, from fucking center field <laughs> that blew my goddamn mind. But to see someone and actually see the stats of the, the fucking speed of the throw, that's just insane. Throwing people out from the fucking yeah. warning tracks and shit like that. Hey, that's what we need. Go Yankees, go. Go Yankees, go. I wonder what that guy's name was. Oh, I forgot. I just know he was on um, Minnesota. Minnesota. Uh, so Aaron Hicks. Oh, move over, oh, Aaron yeah. Hicks. Let's see. A look at the best outfield arms in MLB history. Hicks fires a cannon. A hundred and five point five miles per hour. Two hundred and forty six point six foot laser to nail Danny Velasina at the plate. Dude, I'm watching a video now. 
Holy shit, dude. He's literally like 15 feet in front of the fucking warning track. Oh my god, dude. He nailed. He was. <laughs> Holy shit. He's on the warning track. <laughs> dude. He's on the warning track, right? Uh, he was in front of the warning track when he caught it, like about 15 feet, but that's still 200. That's 206. 200. Almost 250 yards. 250 feet, dude. And he he threw it so hard, he threw it on the other side of the plate, and the catcher still had enough time to come back around with it. It took longer for the catcher to come back around for it than it took to get to the plate. If he would have thrown it, if he would have thrown it on the right side of the plate, the dude would have been out by fucking by like ten feet. The catcher's pretty good too. The catcher like hit his arm and kept his arm from coming across the plate. That's just amazing, dude. That is crazy. You guys got to look that up. Yeah. His throw is just yeah, I saw it. insane. He got a fucking um. Oh. Yeah, keep that motherfucker. That's for me to throw. Jose Gillian has a picture of him throwing at a guy. He has a video of him throwing at a guy at the warning track. Okay. His 1998 throw to Neil, to Neil Nefli, Nefi Perez at third base. Oh, he threw him out at third base, so it's not his. Hit high and deep to right. Back goes Guillen, still going back. At the oh! wall, it's off his glove. There goes yeah. Nefi. Oh, he stole a home run and threw a guy out. <laughs> that motherfucker stole someone's home run and then threw him out. <laughs> This motherfucker knocked his home run down, and then the guy tried to go to third, and he threw his ass out. <laughs> Trying to go to third. Right. Wow. That's, that's all Are you going to be on the war zone? I'm going to be on the war zone. Um, no. Oh, I'm probably maybe. Gotta check my phone for um later. Send me that um. Actually, you sent that link in WhatsApp last time, right? Yeah. That link for the war. Did zone. you click on it already? I yeah, I don't know if it'll work now. now. Should have clicked on it right away. You might have to fucking get Torrance to send you a, no a link. Oh, okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and, and freaking end this stuff. Where's my... Where's my crap? There it is. Alright. So we want to thank all of our fans for listening to the show. Especially to the ones who are still around after we took a break. Real life and lack of news. That's That'll stop you every time. Uh, and for the people who don't listen to us, well, fuck you. We didn't like you to start with, so you can go fuck yourself. Everybody else, you're cool. No more all that. I respect everyone. I don't Please respect don't everyone. Me. Respect is earned. And you know how you earn respect? You listen to this show. That's how you earn respect. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Anyways, you're going to get us banned from fucking Twitter for singing. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I'm singing a song, it'll, it'll catch you. It like scans. Twitter, Twitter, what is it? Twitch. Twitch scans for fucking, Twitch. for copyright music. And if they Maybe catch I copyright think. music, then they, they'll, they'll, they'll stop your stream. You're telling me I think so good at this excuse me for the artist. Yeah, that's right. For me to know, man. The artist formerly known as Magnum. Oh, I ain't dying, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, yeah. I'm on it. you don't plan. Nobody plans on it. I mean, some people plan on it. That's yeah, called suicide, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> That's called motherfucking suicide if you planned it on your death and shit. Uh, so we are.